Right, so today we're going to do a quick, easy and lazy method for making floors and bases. So, I'm going to start with a, a quick 25mm base. Start with a circle, give it a radius of 12.5mm. then that gives it the required diameter of 25. Tab into edit mode, just one to get the front view, numpad one, and then E to extrude. Just right click and then press G to grab and Z and move it up four millimeters. I'm gonna scale that top circle down by about two millimeters, just approximately. Then F to fill, and we will poke that face. Now what I'm gonna do is just insert a couple of times. Then select the center vertice, press Ctrl and B, bring up the bevel menu and just change the setting in the bottom left of vertices, which means you can make a nice little circle in the middle. Which size doesn't matter that much, it's just easy with a nice small one. Then select it and delete that face. Alt and left mouse gives you an edge selection and then we can just grid fill that little hole. Control and R to ring select and then the center mouse wheel will give you extra loops. And what we're going to do is select all the new faces, just leaving the two insets that we did to start with. And we're going to turn this selection into a vertex group. So, side vertex, you can name it if you wish, and then click assign. I know things to do, fill the bottom, however you see fit, and then we're just going to put a couple of extra little bevels on the, uh, the corners of this disc. And that gives you the basic shape for a standard miniature base. So the, um, the basis of this lazy method is just to use the displacement modifier really. You need a lot of geometry to start with to get that to work. So next up is extras with the subdivisions. I'm going to start with four and then the displacement modifier. One of my favorites is to use clouds and Oh yes, then I um, set it to UV and I just UV unwrapped that selection that we have. We don't need the rest of it, it doesn't matter so much for this project. So then in the um, displacement settings, the vertex group is set to that UV group and then it only affects the vertices on the top of the model. This also gives you much more options and versatility for what you might want to do with it. Um, 
One of my favourite settings to use is the clouds type with the Voronoi crackle and the noise basis. And then it's just play with the settings, find something you like. As you can see here, I set the size quite high, put the depth down, just reduce some of the detail, nice big cracks. And then Shift and D to duplicate it. If you set the space and the coordinates to global, um, duplicated ones will all be different. So you'll be able to see with it when I duplicate this next one, you can see the pattern doesn't move with the uh, circle, it just stays where it is and you can position it where you want. And that's it. That's the lazy method. I'm going to do one more thing just to uh, reduce the file size down after this, and that's apply the modifiers and then decimate them. I decimate modifier as much as I feel. Um, doesn't reduce the quality of the overall design. And that's about it. You can use all sorts to make the uh, pattern, use whichever settings in the displacement. If you use you can use images, which is what the UV unwrap really helps with and you can s if you get, get a height map or a displacement map that would work best But yeah, overall, that's it. There you go, and have fun with it. Here's a selection of uh, different ones I've made. Several are made using settings from clouds or other kinds of Displacement, the six on the right now, are all image textures from textures.com. And these are all available to download on Thingiverse at the moment. Now it's just going to be a very, to finish off, it's going to be a very quick time lapse of um, me just doing a big square floor. So enjoy and I hope you can make some use of it. Let me know if you do.